we're going to start with the obvious of not in a car and I know my channel is called Katie in a car and I'll be back in the car but I'm not in the car now why well it's nearly half past ten at night um, very tired and have a stinky cold which is why I've got red nose vibes going on and I went to the cinema earlier this evening and uh, I wasn't able to review the film as soon as I came out of the cinema because after the cinema I drove to Nando's and then had food because I was on a date don't you know it was date night and we did dinner and a movie or a movie and dinner so I'm here to talk about the film um, my date has now gone home and yes I could have gone outside into the cold and climbed into my car to make this video in the dark or I could sit here because at the end of the day my channel my rules it's also a dog just next to me here so he may take part in the review at some point but probably not okay so what's the film the film I went to see this evening is called Saint Maud and it is a psychological horror film um, it's a British film and it is the debut of writer-director Rose Glass what a debut mother of god this film was good so when I suggested to my date that we go and see it he's not the biggest fan of horror so he said yeah okay and I said well you know it's it's only 84 minutes long it is 84 of the most tense minutes I've experienced in quite some time so the story follows a young nurse called Maud um, she has moved into palliative care you find out at the beginning sort of that something has gone awry in her nursing career which is why she's now moved into private care but you never actually fully find out what went wrong and that is one of many many strengths this film has so she is registered with a care agency and she gets assigned to a woman who is dying of um, I think it's some sort of cancer of the spine the uh, patient is played by the wonderful and talented Jennifer Ely um, and she's a very bitter patient she formerly was a dancer and a choreographer she's obviously lived this really wild decadent life and now all of a sudden she's dying in a big old house in a seaside town you're never really told where so it's very much at odds with the glamour of the life that she's used to and Maud turns up to care for her and the two form a bit of a bond to begin with the thing is Maud becomes fixated on saving her patient's soul not only helping her with her physical needs but also her spiritual needs and the problem is Amanda played by Jennifer Ely is not particularly interested in having her soul saved but Maud becomes quite obsessed with the idea of saving Amanda's soul that she's been sent there by God and it just ratchets up and ratchets up and you know that things bad things are coming but it's such a slow burn even though it's only 84 minutes and it's so well paced and crafted you know badness is coming but it doesn't come quickly you wait for it so you're even more tense I can't praise this film enough it is so well made it's beautifully shot um, the score is superb the performances are exceptional I've just mentioned Jennifer Ely already but the lead role of Maud is played by um, a Welsh actress called Morpeth Clark and I recognised her from The Personal History of David Copperfield um, she's been in other bits and bobs I believe she is playing uh, the Lady Galadriel in the Amazon TV series of that's based on the Lord of the Rings books, Middle Earth, that sort of thing she's exceptional she really really is she's this she's very fragile but then also quite steely she's absolutely devoted to the task that she believes god has given her she's obviously very troubled and this film is so much more than just a horror film it's a study of loneliness of mental illness of um religious um not fascism 
fascination that's not the word i'm looking for but it's a look of faith and you know people who become absolutely fixated on religion and what that can do fanaticism that's the word i'm looking for religious fanaticism um there are some horrifying moments uh, mainly towards the end but the whole film is uncomfortable and creepy and tense um, and it just doesn't really allow you to relax it's as I said it's just so well crafted so people aren't going to cinema at the minute the entire city world chain is going to close it's UK cinemas and I believe some of its US ones if not all of its US ones and I genuinely find that scary and I know that sounds dramatic but I don't want to lose cinemas because cinema is my happy place it's where I love to be and it was great being there tonight it was lovely to be there on a date um, I just enjoy the cinema experience so much and it really helped me to appreciate this great film um, would I have enjoyed it on a smaller screen yes probably but I really enjoyed being immersed in it and it made those horrifying moments all the more intense and when it ended and it ends quite abruptly <gasps> we stepped out of the screen and the first thing he said to me was oh light because yeah we'd sat in the dark watching quite a dark film so yeah I don't want to lose cinemas so I will go along and I will support and I will watch what's available within reason I'm not going to go and watch any old rubbish but I'd seen a few people on Twitter talking about this film and I was intrigued and I'm so glad I made the effort to go and watch it because it is an absolute belter of a film. Um, yes, it's disappointing that they pushed the release of Bond back again. Everything's getting pushed back to next year and come next year there are going to be any cinemas left. We don't know. But I would definitely encourage you to go to the cinema if you can. If you haven't been back to a cinema since... They reopened, they really have worked very hard to make them safe and comfortable so please do go along and do your bit because even if you're somebody who goes to the cinema twice a year, how sad would you be if it was gone forever? Go and see St Maud if you want to see a superb, edgy, intense psychological horror or go and watch Tenet if you haven't seen it already find something to see and go and see it and go and give yourself that big screen experience um apologies again for the fact that i'm not in a car um but i'm really snotty and tired and now i'm gonna go to bed so uh yeah that's me go and see saint maud go to the pictures save cinemas stay safe wash your hands wear a mask vote for biden that's probably not relevant to most of you watching but yeah just do whatever you can. Don't be a dick, basically. Uh, yeah, Katie out.